holographic and 3D TV technology have been imagined into the worlds of Hollywood and science fiction, but the reality of this technology is finally getting closer. At the University of Arizona, Assistant Research Professor Dr. Pierre Blanche works in the College of Optical Sciences 3D Display Laboratory. Not a lot of research are actually that uh, visual appealing and attractive. Uh, most of them, let's say, it could be boring. Uh, but this one is, is really driving me and making me think how we can solve all those problems. In 2008, Blanche's team discovered they could use a powerful laser to write holographic images onto glass coated in a photorefractive polymer. Currently, most holographic images are made more like silver halide film prints than TV monitors. Once they are printed, they cannot be altered. But the 3D display lab is changing that. Color, intensity. In that material, we can write hologram, erase it, and refresh it. And if you can refresh it fast enough, you will have a 3D television. First display in 2008 was not quite fast enough. The laser could write one new image into the material every four minutes. A television displays 30 different images or frames per second. The lab created the next faster version of the display in 2010. In the next generation, uh, we replace that CW laser, continuous wave laser, with a pulse laser. And that laser was much faster. And we were able to record even larger image in less than 30 seconds. 30 seconds is good, but that's still slow for a display. So we want to have 30 images a second. And uh, we are developing the setup as we speak. We don't know if we're going to succeed. But the stakes are high that it worth, it worth a shot. The lab continues its work with government and private sector partners for the third version of the display. Once they achieve 30 images a second, Blanche says most other concerns are out of the way. We have solved all the major problems. We can uh, make filter to reject the laser light so it's totally safe for the viewer. We have demonstrated that we can go full color with RGB uh, holographic pixel. Uh, we, we have done that. We have also demonstrated that we can uh, have a very, very good resolution, actually much better than HDTV. The material cost is not that much. It's a polymer, so it can be produced in very large batch for not that much. The problem is the laser itself. Uh, we are still using powerful lasers that uh, are costly. So it can address some niche market like the uh, medical imaging or the military imaging. And with that, we hope that's going to drive the cost of the, of the laser down. In 2008, when we have our first image, our very first image, I was running into the hallway of the college and uh, asking my colleague to have a look at it. And everybody was coming and say, oh yeah, wow, we can see it in 3D, it's moving. And that, that was a fantastic day, actually. 